Okay, so I'm putting, uh, trying some new pickups in this standard uh, American P-Bass and uh, figured I'd do a little video while I was at it. Um, P-Bass wiring is really simple, but um, I've seen a lot of bad diagrams online uh, that are actually incorrect. So I want to do a real quick video on um, uh, the best way to wire your P-Bass pickups. Is, and this will help you if you're trying to try some different pickups, uh, like here's a set of, um, this is a 58 split coil P-Base from uh, Bare Knuckle um, Antiquity, which is a really good P-Base pickup. And the one that we're going to be putting in here to try is the uh, Lindy Freyland uh, P-Base, the standard winding, um, which I really liked the sound uh, when I heard some of the test samples. Um, so... Basically, a P-Base wiring um, of this type is really simple. You have one volume and you have one tone. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be upgrading the capacitor to a paper and oil. This is a .047 capacitor. And you don't have to use a paper and oil capacitor. You can use an orange drop or um, the capacitor that came with it. But um, I'm doing a little bit of an upgrade to this one. And we're going to be using... Uh, kind of like standard vintage cloth pushback wire. So the first thing we're going to do is install the capacitor. Basically, we're going to solder, we're going to ground this capacitor to the top of the pot, and then we're going to take the other leg and run it through the center, um, the center leg of the, the pot here. So we're just going to ground this leg by holding it down to the pot. And we're gonna take our solder and we're gonna to touch the wire in the pot at the same time. And then use something else to hold it down while it cools. And, and then fold it back up like that. Very simple. The next thing we're going to do is fold down this leg to run it through this center tab down here. And we have the leg ran through the center tab hole. And then I'm just going to touch the leg the tab hole, the lead, the little tab hole, and just hit it with a couple hits of solder. Spread it around a little bit, let it cool, and there's your cap. It should sit nice and horizontal like this. The P bass cavity that the, you know, once you flip this over and put it down inside the guitar, it's not excessively deep like it is in a uh, a Stratocaster where you have a little bit more room. The P base uh, cavity is only about three inches deep, if that, maybe two and a half inches deep. So you want to make sure that this is nice and it's not sitting too high because then what happens is when you put it back in the guitar, you'll crush it down and you might break one of the legs or make the, the lead on the capacitor touch something else. Okay, the next connection we're going to make is going to be very simple. We're going to run a small wire from this very first tab here straight across to the tab across from it here. So if you don't already have the wire that you're going to use, you're going to need a small section of wire. And you're just going to want to strip both ends of it. I'm going to cut this one down just a touch shorter here. You don't want this to be excessively tight going across here, although some people will do that. I like to make mine just a little bit looser. And what we're going to do here is we're going to tin the legs of the pot by doing this. You just heat the leg, and then we're going to touch the solder to it. It only takes a second. If you get it too hot, all it does is run down the leg. And then we're going to spread this across the, the opening. 
We're going to do that on both sides. So you just want to touch it and then spread that across like that. I'm going to go back over and do this first one again here, like that. And that way, all you have to do now is heat the solder and it'll grab the wire like this. Don't push it through um, so far that it touches the pot. All right, let that cool. Once it cools, it'll grab like that. And then I'm going to fold this down and punch it through the other side. Let it cool, and there you go. I'm going to put a little bit more of that solder on there. You don't want this popping off once you get everything back together. It's a perfect connection right there. See, now this wire, if it was really straight across here, when you push this down, that wire can get pushed and break these tabs. With it doing, with doing it this way, where this wire is touching the bottom like this, it basically doesn't allow this wire to get pushed down and bend the tabs when you go to put this back into the guitar. It's just my personal preference. You don't have to do it that way, but I like to do it that way. So it's just basically acting like a little rest. And that way, when you push things down, the, this wire won't move. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is hook up the wires from our jack here. You have, um, you should have two wires. You have your positive and your negative. It's super simple. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your hot wire, which is the white wire. That's going to come around the pot and go to the center tab here on your volume pot right here, the center leg. So we're just going to heat this up. Punch it through. Don't let it touch the pot itself, just to the center leg. And then make sure, and also make sure that wire is long enough that it's not stretched tight across there. Let me just bend this out of the way a little bit. But that it can lay on the pick guard like this, nice and flat out of the way. So you can see how neat that is now. And then your negative wire, your black wire here, is just going to get soldered directly to the top of the tone pot here. And it'll look, all you're going to do is just hold it right here to the tone pot, just like we did the capacitor. Press it down. Apply a little bit of solder. I'm going to take these needle nose pliers to hold it down while it cools. Oh. Hold it down, let it cool, make sure the capacitor doesn't pop back up. And there you go. Okay, now, if you didn't already have the wires from the jack um, sitting there ready like I did, because I didn't change the jack, this is the same setup that it was, um, basically, you're going to need to cut those two wires to the length that, we, uh, that you can see here. And, um, and hook up your positive and negative to your jack and then do what we just did here. But in most cases, 
most of you guys learn into wire or a P base are only swapping pickups or something like that. So your jack will still be original like that and you won't have to attach these two wires. If you do, wiring the jack is really super simple. So, okay, after that, the next thing we're gonna do is back on this volume pod here, we're gonna basically take this tab the very first tab and we're going to solder it directly to the top of the pot or you can take a wire and run it from here to the pot it doesn't matter but I'm going to actually solder this down to the top of the pot so again you can either put a really small wire from here to here or what I like to do is take the end of the soldering gun bend this tab over Careful not to break it off until it touches the pot like this. I'm going to just put a little bit of pressure on it so that it lays against the pot for a second. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prep by putting solder right here on the top of the pot, right on the edge. Don't let it drip all down the sides. And then we're going to take our pliers, heat that puddle, push this tab over. Just let it tack for a second. And then I'm going to heat this again and just push that solder. Keep slipping. So basically just push this up, let it grab. Until it makes good contact there. Just hold it until it cools. And now that's soldered perfectly to the top of that pot. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is hook up the actual pickup wires. And you're usually gonna have two like this. You're gonna have a hot and a, um, a ground. The white is the hot and the black is the, is the ground. So what you wanna do with the black wire is we're just gonna solder the black wire right to the top of this volume pot like this. So just like we soldered the other ones, we're just going to hold it to the top of the pot. Touch it with the solder. Hold it down. And let it cool. And the white wire is going to go through this outer tab here where we made that connection earlier. It's going to go through this first tab and join this other wire right here. So I'm just going to fold this around, heat that pot, heat that little tab. Push it through a little bit. Don't let it touch the pot. And that's on now too. And we are just about done. It's that easy. So the very last wire that we're going to hook up is going to be our ground wire coming from the bridge plate, which is this black wire right here. This is the last wire to hook up. And just like we did with the pickup, the black wire from the pickup, the ground, we're just going to ground this also to the top of this volume pot. So we're just going to hold this in place, tack it down. Now we should already have solder, plenty of solder there when we just grounded the other one. Make sure the other one doesn't pop up. Hold it down for a second. And it's done. Okay. And that's it. Now that's grounded. And that's all your wiring 
for the pick guard. The last thing you want to do is make sure everything works. Okay, so now that we have everything attached, we're going to neatly stick these wires down into the body, making sure that everything is down inside, nothing sticking outside of the pick guard. And we're going to just work this down gently. Work it around the pickups themselves here to pick up. Okay, so the very last thing I did was I've put this back into position and we're going to test it and make sure it works and um, be very careful as you're working the wires down into the, the cavity um, that you don't push and crush things down. You might want to take the end of a screwdriver, like a flathead screwdriver or needle nose, just to help you push the wires in from the sides as you push this down. Um, if you find, by the way, sometimes I'll even do this with it plugged into a small test amp to make sure that as I push it down, the sound doesn't cut out because something touches. But I have this down into place, and all I'm going to do to make sure it's held down firmly so that it has the right amount of pressure on it, I'm just going to put like one screw in here. And then I'm going to put one screw in over here where the controls are. The reason for that, by the way, is so it's being held down at the pressure that it's going to be. I've had um, a P bass that I wired one time, and when I was holding the pick guard up in the air, the sound was perfect. When I pushed it down into the guitar uh, and I screwed it down, all of a sudden there was no sound, and what was happening is one of the legs of the pots was getting touched by a wire that would uh, as there, there was pressure applied on this and it would cut out. So I had to lift it back up, make sure there was space in between there and, and push it down. So now I know this is down as hard as it, it's going to be. We're going to flip on this test amp. And this is just a little guitar amp. It doesn't have to be a bass amp. I just use one of these little rolling cube amps to do all my bench stuff. And then we're just going to tap. And then we're going to test the controls. So you can hear the volume cutting out. And now we're going to do the tone. And you can hear everything works perfectly. So that's how you wire up your standard P-Bass.